peace, peace, wah, guan, fam. Medea, Medea. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update. So today is day 17, water fast, and um, day 107 on um, Insanity consecutive workouts. So usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I will do three Insanity workouts. I'll do a cardio, I'll do an upper weight training, and I, then I do cardio abs or insane abs. Today, my body was like, no, queen, no, no, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm trying to squat down here. Uh, my body was like, no, I'm not going to be able to do it. So I had to listen to my body, you know, and I had to um, respect my body, and I had to back down. So I only did two other workouts. And, you know, um, I get inboxed a lot. People, like, they've been watching me and, and what I'm doing. And they're like, are you crazy? Like, are you trying to kill yourself? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, no, I'm not trying to kill myself. And what I'm doing is actually uh, healing myself. And um, my thing is this, you know, if you can go 20, 30, some odd years of eating, you know, junk food, bad food. I was the worst junk food vegan, I think, in the world. If you can go all those years with eating, you know, that type of food, you can go, you know, 21, 30 days without eating food at all. Like, really, you can. Like, like, it's really a matter of discipline. And the thing about it is, is that when you really understand what's taking place, if you can't go without eating food, then that means you're addicted to it. And see, for me, and I'm not here to judge you or anything like that. If you eat meat, you eat dead flesh, or you can't do more than an hour or two hours of a fast, I'm not here to judge you. I'm just, I'm just talking about me. This is me talking to me. So my thing was, you know, if I can't sustain from food for X amount of days, then that means I'm addicted to it. And for me, I don't want to be addicted or attached to anything. I live my life in the realm of detachment. That way I'm free. I'm free. I'm not attached to food. I'm not attached to people. I'm not attached to experiences. I'm not attached to people's emotions. I'm not attached to any of that. So that makes me free. And I love that. I love being free, you know? I just love being free. So, um, so yeah, I don't want to make this like a long sermon or anything, even though I do like to preach and teach. But I just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, so, my point, my point is, listen to your body. Respect your body. Respect your temple. Respect your temple, right? It means during a fast... Not during a fast, exercise regimen, whatever. Respect your temple. So I, 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 had to, I had to respect Mama Queen. Mama Queen said, not today. We're not doing three workouts today, Mama. So I had to just say, okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. We'll get this two in. So, you know, everything is good. Um, my 21 days uh, on the water fast will be up Saturday. I'm going to extend it. I'm going to do two more weeks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it up. And I'm going to do all raw vegan foods. Um, and those two weeks were actually in my second round of my insanity program. So I'm just testing some things, hacking some things, seeing how my body responds to stuff. And that's really what it's all about. Everybody's body is different. Um, you can't judge yourself against another person. All you can do is test things on your body and your endurance and your stamina and your heart and your willpower. That's all you can do. So don't compare yourself to nobody else because you by yourself are unique all by yourself. All right? So stay strong, fam. Uh, come, out, come out of this uh, pandemic healthier, stronger, and wiser. All right? Health over everything. Peace.